The Japanese Grand Prix qualifying has finished. Max Verstappen, surprise, surprise, is on pole position once again. So today we are going to try and of course beat the pole lap. A 1 minute 28.197 set by Max in Q3. That's going to be the objective. Currently, as always, with the RB20, we're currently on default settings. I've got a very little track grip from what I can tell. So um, we might need those soft tires. I know this weekend, you know, they're running the C1, C2, C3, which is very conservative on tire compounds. And, you know, it means the tires are going to be pretty bulletproof. Either way, a different time of the year racing in Japan round four much earlier than usual and we're going to see how that affects things in tomorrow's race as always guys you're going to have all the mods linked down below for this video as we look to beat the pole time can't wait i love japan especially this version which is laser scanned gonna be a lot of fun getting stuck in here looking to beat max's time so currently trying to get some tire temperature the rear, the rear tires seemingly not keen on wanting to warm up right now so um yeah we'll see how that goes for now though we'll lock it into low on the mguk so we're running a, a lower baseline mode and we're gonna see what we can do for a, a banker lap of sorts as we open drs for the one and only time one of the few tracks with a single drs zone down towards turn one accidental double shift or downshift there didn't actually mean to do that my finger slipped on the paddle but we'll take it slightly wide there as we run off the curb now the tires are working a bit better now we've got some temperature wow fronts are getting hot on the hard tire wow we're gonna have to really work on these tire pressures look at those front tires oh my god absolutely cooked through the degna probably take a bit less curb and we've got no front end the front tires are just tapping out straight away Oh my god, look at that. Front lock up, understeer. Yeah, we need these tyres to get a little bit of a, a breather, a bit of air, to try and cool off as we have one big corner to go, Spoon. Let's see if we can hang on. We're really giving up some speed though through here. Don't really care about track limits at this stage. We'll improve drastically once we get some quicker tyres on and make some setup changes which we're going to have to do especially on tyre pressures final chicane bounce over the kerbs car does not like that one bit up to the line then with fully cooked front and we're going to set a 132.3 which isn't too bad to be fair not bad at all just over four seconds off so let's go back to the drawing board and uh, bring these tyres down a bit here we go then second attempt i've now dropped to medium tires and crucially we've put a hell of a lot of front tire pressure in i'm talking a lot so we're going to see how it stacks up pace wise i'll also reduce the fuel up the wings and just generally make some adjustments to make the car a bit more drivable also you can see my rears are actually getting a bit more warmer than the fronts which is a good sign so now let's see if we make it out the s section with tires left at all fifth gear through turn two back end snapping slightly as we throw the car into the s's downfall's working well now we're starting to slide a little bit the tire temp holding on enough flat out through dunlop and that's a lot more like it it's a lot better we'll gain a ton of time oh that's a bit rough i've got to try and lay off that first curb a lot of time gained through there into the hairpin easy does it also lost a ton of time there on the last lap i think we could actually challenge verstappen's lap already i can't quite see the delta on my wheel but i think we're up by like 2.7 seconds through spoon we go oh now we're getting some understeer now the fronts are starting to give out. 3.5 seconds up. This is a lot better. 
into the final chicane. Here we go. We'll lay off that inside curve a bit. Up to the line. This is going to be close. 28.287. Ooh. Okay. Big lap. Big, big lap. Now, I've just realized I've made a mistake. The tires this weekend, I said it in the intro, are C1, C2, C3. It's the hardest compounds possible. And I got confused for a second because I'm actually going softer. So that lap is actually invalid because I did a C4 tire run. So actually, the first run was on C3, which is, even though it's white colored for hard, is the softest compound available. So I'm going to quickly fix the tires so the color matches the compound for this weekend. And we'll run that back again. So BRB. So now the tires match up and make a bit more sense. So as you can see, C2 medium, C1 hard. Now things make a bit more sense. So we're gonna run the C3, which is the soft tire, and we're gonna pick up where we left off. So essentially we're gonna rerun the first run we did with that compound, making a small pressure adjustment and other car settings. So we should go quicker anyway, but now it makes a lot more sense. I did wonder why that previous lap was so quick and you know the tire issue would explain why to some extent but the reality is this is still going to be pretty quick so we're going to crank up the engine mode now to high and we're going to see how the car feels slightly lower on fuel the rest of the car is unchanged i just want to see how fast i can go when i push these technically harder tires than the previous run to the limit i've also set pressures accordingly so here we go this is the softest compound possible so we're not going to be able to go any softer than this. Bit of a slide through turn two, but now you're going to see this tire is going to work really well for us through here as it shouldn't overheat or it shouldn't at first. It should hold up, although it is to give out, so maybe my tire pressures on the front need a bit more. Let's see then. We've got no references. That was way quicker though, throwing the car into the deck, but now the front left starting to give out. Up to the hairpin to avoid the front left lock up and use the right side tire to get the rotation decent exit hopefully the front right can just cool off a little bit through here before we arrive at spoon decent bit of turning now we're going to wash with understeer but to be fair it's, it's hanging on pretty well this lap could still beat the pole lap to be fair no reason why not. Feels pretty decent. Chicane remains. Let's see what we do. On the brakes. Going to be very cautious on the curb. Back end fighting. Rear's getting a bit hot. Up to the line. And it's a 28-3. So two tenths off. Verstappen's pole lap. But this is much more in the realm of pace and also the car is pretty much there in terms of qualifying mode so let's make final adjustments and try again
Wowza. Very, very, very quick. 27 2. The car was on rails. We got the tire temps perfect. So the tires held on. 27 2 5 5. So as always we're going to run you through the setup for the lap. C3 tyres which is the softest available compound. I ran 25 front pressure very high to keep the fronts under control. Rears also up by one click to 18 so that was giving us pretty decent balance. Probably could have run 26 even and you know had a bit of tyre performance throughout the lap. Fuel 3 litres enough for 2.9. Electronics were set to high and motor for the strongest lap. The MGUH in motor makes a big, big difference in terms of overall pace. Aero, I ran seven on the front, seven on the rear. Very high aero because you want that aero in sectors one and two. Sector three is only the one where you have a bit of, you know, straight line speed and also the back straight after the hairpin, but you really want to have that in sector one and the final chicane as well. Alignment, dampers or default. Brake bias, I use 56, which is also default. I was trying 55, but I wasn't happy with the balance. So 56 for this one. And then everything else also stock. Ride height also stock. And yeah, overall, a very good performing car. So guys, there we have it. I believe we're four for four. I'm going to make some changes, I think, for the next episode. If we run this car again, to make sure it's a bit more of a challenge because I have the track re reduced significantly to 94 which is very low and we're still smashing it so I might go like down by a hell of a lot and if it doesn't work we may have to switch cars to VRC or RSS depending on what mod works best because we do want some challenge in these videos. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. Either way, like and subscribe. These mods will be linked down below. Track and car combo. And yeah, cheers for watching. As always, a big shout out to the members. Check out all the links down below, guys, and all my discounts. And I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Until then, take care. And that's goodbye from me.